Well, Rita, thank you so much for allowing Space Coast Data to join you today and, and learn more about you. Um, we're up here at your wonderful church, and uh, tell us, tell the viewers from Space Coast Daily, you know, a little bit about yourself and why you've chosen to enter this race for county commission. Thank you, and thank you for coming and, and allowing me to introduce myself to the public. And well, I, I you you asked about the history before, and I so I took a while to think about that. My parents moved here in the late 1950s, and we moved to Titusville in 1960. My father worked at the Space Coast, and actually he worked there until he retired. So we grew up on in this area. I went to school here, um, graduated high school here, went to college here, raised our children here. Me and my husband, we have six children between us. We have eight grandchildren. And we just absolutely adore our grandchildren. We, this has just been our life in this, this county, and, and we love it. We love the people. And you know what I love about being here is most of the people don't leave. I, I run into people I went to school with all the time in, in the city when I'm shopping at the grocery store. And it's a close little community. And I, I really love that I got to grow up here and, and that I'm still here. And I, I just love us. I love our community. Tell us a little bit about your, your educational background. I know you have significant uh, years in college and, and a lot of uh, preparation for, for becoming a county commissioner. I went to Eastern Florida State College, which was BCC at the time, and I, I got an associate's degree. And then I went to University of Central Florida, where I got a bachelor's in business. And then I went ahead and got my master's in accountancy. I love accounting. Um, I sat for my CPA exam, passed it, which was a lot of work, but I'm a CPA. I love accounting. I love finances. I love budgets. And I actually specialized in nonprofit and governmental entities because at the time I was at the church and I, I wanted to make sure I was doing a good job with church finances and the governmental, I'm, I'm glad I did that now because it's a whole new dimension of what I'm doing you know, on the city council and hopefully with the county commission of understanding the budgets and being a good asset to hopefully the job I'm gonna get to have to serve our community. Your time on the city council in Titusville, how has that sort of prepared you now to take the step forward up to the county commission? The city council, you know, when I first got on the city council, it looked easy because I'd been watching it on TV and I thought well, I could do that. I got on the council and then I learned there's a whole education with learning the business of government. And then it took some time to learn to be effective in that business. So the time I've spent on that has been a great education to me, both personally and professionally, and learning how to use those resources to, to help get things moving along. It seemed to take so long to get anything done. And nowadays, they've, they've learned to use these things and, and learned how to reach out to other people doing them. It's, it seems to be easier to get them accomplished. And I think from serving our city, I've learned our strengths and our weaknesses and our opportunities and our threats. And I think that makes you a little more effective when you're trying to deal with the overall problem that we could be facing as community now and strategically in the future. And I, I really believe that if you take care of those weak areas that you have, everybody gets better. And if you really feed the things that are doing well, it's just good, good things to do in your community. And understanding the community and what we're facing, I, I think is very important to be effective in, in doing this job. The, the County Commission um, is such an interesting thing because you have County Commissioners representing different areas. You know, uh, if you become the county commissioner for this district, how will you represent Titusville and make sure that you follow their best interests, but also do the best thing for the county as a whole? How do you see that working out? You know, it's, it's interesting. I, I thought through this, but you, if I'm going to use being a mother. You know, you've got the family. You have to do what's best for the family. But if, if you have a, a child that has specific needs, you have to meet their needs, too. So in a, in a way, I think you have to do that to be effective on the county commission. You have to support your district. You have to bring those needs up. You have to make sure that you're, you're taking care of, of the people that you're, you're representing. But overall, you know, it's, it's a great county, and we have to do what's best for the county. I, I think this is the best county in the state of Florida, and I think we have great potential. And I, I think if we all learn to work together and find each district's strengths, and everybody come together with, with ways of making each district the best, I, I think we're, we're going to do very well. But I, I do think that in the past, you know, that District 1's been a little bit um, left out a little bit. It might have been District 1's fault, might not have, might not have been. But I, I think we're set into the future of, of 
having some great agreement coming up on the, the coming county commission. I just seen the people that are running and um, and I recognize the people that are there. And I, I think we're entering into a great se season for our county. I believe that our district, we're, we're still working very hard on our, our jobs and bringing in new businesses and industry. And over the last three or four years, we've worked really hard and it's starting to happen. We're not, we're, seven years ago was a very painful time. We were hurting. Um, one of my children took two of my grandchildren and moved to another state because they had to for a job. They got laid off at the Cape. And I think we need to continue this, this path we've been on for the last three or four years. We, we have industry starting to move in. We have businesses coming in. We have Embry-Air, you know, the distribution center, the new mall is getting ready to go up. And the foundation's laid. And I, I think where we are right now, what we have been doing is working. And when something works, you need to continue it. And I, I think we have to continue this path. And I think in our district, it's, it's critical we continue this. We have a family starting to move back in. We have businesses coming back in. The community's smiling again. It's a really good community. And we're starting to see that hope come up. And you know, you can't buy hope, it's priceless. So I think it's important that we continue the jobs. I think the Indian River is an issue. I think we are gonna need to be good stewards of our river and you know, green, green situations. I believe, you know, we live in Florida and we're, we probably utilize solar energy less than most of the other southern states. I think we have to work on alternative energy sources and, you know, the LNG plant, we might be able to utilize some of that energy. So I, I think there's other ways that we need to evolve moving forward and I think that's going to be important for our district. I believe that um, public safety is a big issue. Uh, you know, we want to live in a safe community. We want to have a safe place to raise our children and my grandchildren. It's, it's very personal to me. I want them to live out their lives here like I'm living out my life and safety is important. We have a great sheriff and I appreciate everything he's doing and you know he's fighting even a different type of crime today. We, we live in a, a time where we have you know terrorism could potentially be in our homes or in our neighborhoods then we've never had that before. Maybe we've never thought about it before but I want to make sure public safety is a priority and that they have all the resources they need to keep our community safe. Yeah, on the county commission, the key is to, is to build a consensus. You know, there's five commissioners. So in order to get things done, you have to build, uh, you know, an agreement. So what's going to be your style on the county commission to, to do that and to get things done? That's interesting. When I was on the city council, that's the first thing I learned is, is you're really not to convince trying to convince the audience, but you have to convince two other members up there to agree with you or you're not going to get things accomplished. And I, I think one of the key things you have to do is, Stephen Covey wrote a book, gosh, years ago, but I read it, Seven Steps to Highly Effective People or Seven Habits. And one of them was you seek ye first to understand. So I've, I've tried to adapt this in, into my life of just really listening and to understanding what people are saying. And you know, communication is more than words. So if you, if you try to really figure out the, the content of what they're trying to express, a lot of times you can come in with a solution that's maybe not so challenging or threatening. And you know, working in a church, you, you, you kind of learn personalities. And if, if you threaten someone, they close up on walls. But if you can keep them comfortable with you, and, and if they know that, that you like them and you're for them, a lot of times you can have them listen and you get a real conversation going and hopefully get some type of compromise to where you can move forward. Because if, if you're under like government typically does these days and they're, they're hitting head on, they don't move. So you, you have to have communication and some type of good compromise to move forward with some good solutions and results. Working in an environment like this, this is an incredible church, incredible organization for the yes. community. How, how is your faith going to help you uh, carry you through this, this time of, of challenge in, the, in, the, in your campaign race? and lead you in, in, in how you um, become a county commissioner? I trust in the Lord and I believe, I, my life, I believe if you walk in the ways of the Lord, you're walking in His will and His ways are good, you know, He's specific about treating other people like you would want to be treated yourself and being kind and, and not being greedy and, and doing things that are good for your community and, and, and for other people. I'm the um, women's pastor here at our church, so um, I really like people. I care about people. I'm pretty compassionate about how well people are doing in their life, and um, I, I want to continue that into everything I do and everything I touch. 
when this whole thing's done and you know from just being in ministry I've noticed when when people are ready to leave this world they're not about you know how many houses they bought or how much money they've made it's about their relationships and and what kind of legacy they're leaving behind of doing good in their family and in their community and at the end of the day that's where I want to be I, I want to please my God and I want to take care of my family and my community and on the way out I want people to say yeah she did good and Space Ghost Daily really enjoyed coming to the Dancing with the Space Ghost uh, recently and, and uh, we were so impressed with all the dancers. What was that like? You know, it took a lot of courage to get up there and, and raise money for a charity and, and to join that. That was, you know, congratulations on that. What was that like? <laughs> I met some of the most wonderful people that I, I didn't even know before the event and that, that, was, um, that was really good. I enjoyed the um, gentleman I danced with, Lewis. And, you know, I, I love the sheriff, and you just don't know how to tell the sheriff no when he asks you to do something. And every time he calls me, I said, please don't make me dance again. I'm invested here. I, I grew up here. This is my present. This is going to be my future. When this is all done, I'm still going to be here. This is my home. This is where my, my children's home is. I care about our community. I believe I have some skills and resources that are going to really help us move forward. I believe Brevard County is sitting at a time and a place right now where we're gonna grow into the greatest county we've ever been. And we're gonna have our family stay in, we're gonna have new families moving in. I really believe in us and I believe we have a great future.